Welcome back to LA and Noir, everybody. Runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in '48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Some war flashbacks just to tie us all together. The Fallen Idol! Whom? Oh, someone gone for some rumpy pumpy up in the. Nope. Ah. Ah, yes. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women. Possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? <laughs> I thought Chevy I saw that. The line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Where is I? I gave his wife a tap. Hate the racism, they the casual racism in the war. game, and of the Do generation. Way, Try not to work too hard. Now look at you bantering with the boys. It's a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. <coughs> I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, a... hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in in such. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I I love the the terminology that they used. Uh, the slang. Just not the racism. I also find the facial animation terrifying. Everyone good? People yelling? I can yell too. I'm sure I will in this video, at some point. So. uh... We going up, yeah? We'll drive. <laughs> I'm lazy. We ain't got all day. Now, you know, and I don't even have enough time to make him scream for mercy. On the way there, it feels kind of lame. Later then. Yes, yes, yes. This man is crossing the road. There's a red light. You should stop. Okay. Up we go. Detective Phelps. Here to... I'm going up there, aren't I? I thought I'd come to the car first. Am I not supposed to come to the car? Get in the... Jump around... Fine. Waste high obstacles in video games, everybody. Our nemesis. Consistently for 20 plus years. Nowadays, everyone has a slight vault button. But still, you'll play a horror game of first person. You come up to something knee height and you'll be like, why are you even blocking me? I don't understand. Okay. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, install the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. 
One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Does she? I do like sass. Perfect, so get out of my lane. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Okay. Okay, this is this is my area. I'm probably going to have to go down to the crash site first. How do I do that without dying? Is there some form of ramp? Or do I have to Spider-Man jump? Because I will. No, there's literally a walkway. Knee-high obstacles, everybody. The bane of video games. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Mm. My infant. They're torn. Why are they torn? Oh, dear. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Great. Why am I flapping these around? <laughs> cool. Awkward. <sighs> stuffed in her handbag. Of paper. Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. She's a long way from home. Yeah, another one that just abandoned the Midwest to go to LA to become a Hollywood star. I was 15 once myself. Ew. I'm sure Aunt Junie is looking after you. I can't help worrying. You know, you my old mother's like. The world's a very dangerous place for young girls, especially. One with stands in their eye, stars, stands, stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you as to what's right in front of your nose. Emma, Emily, Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Blah, 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 family, please come back, Jesse. I'm frightened for you. Celine, Hamilton, ha Hamilton, Hamilton. Can we just deal with a Hamilton last case? Was that Cliff Harrison? Well, this is dark then. Cool. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. What? See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Wow. It's great. Never the same, are they? Job. Someone managed to tip their ride straight off a cliff. If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Ooh, blood. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Isn't this... Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. So she was unconscious before she had butted the dash? And the window? She had butted the window. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in an age before... Yeah, in an age before seatbelts were mandatory. Or a thing. I see no seatbelts. I'm guessing looking around this is not going like, to zoom in on anything, but you never know. Okay, brilliant. Is this just for off the front of the car? All right. I want to look around at the top of the hill for a little bit. Can I look at the front of the... No! No, I can't. I teleport. Fantastic. 
So, anything else? Pressing A on everything. Pressing A on everything. Gonna find something. Please. <laughs> it also could be at the top of the hill. Maybe. We'll go there after I've looked at this a little bit more. I didn't know if there's anything to do with this because he doesn't actually say anything. He's like, this isn't a thing or this isn't relevant. Usually flops out of his face hole, but he's decided against it this time. If you don't mind, I'm about done here, detective, and I have other cases to deal with. I'm sure you do, sir. I'm sure what you do. What do you think? How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? Uh, the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Yeah, um, you weren't listening. Okay. But head wedged they must have both been unconscious they must have both been unconscious I'm gonna go this way and see if when I get past these barricades over here that something comes in music no music so there's definitely something down there oh my god I'm getting annoyed because I want to find it, but I don't think I'm going to, so I may give this up. It's fine. It's fine. Let's move on. We've been here long enough. We've seen the car. The car do the thing. Yep, yep, yep. Hit the board. Time to talk to Jessica Hamilton and why were torn panties in her handbag. Skills. So, you're also not a very nice person. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Again? Maybe a bit on the serious side. Again? What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. Keep out of this. Okay. June Ballard, 41, trying to come on to me. I have a wife. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. I don't believe you. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Mark Bishop? I got the... I got... See? Now she looks upset. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. <laughs> what more can I say? Uh... A lot more. A... You can say a lot more. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? Fifteen. I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart, as the saying goes. <laughs> oh, was that a lie? No, 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 no. Okay, so she didn't lie, she was telling the truth, so maybe that was a lie and we had to do the letter. Fuck. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. I doubt everything she says. She's acting very strange. But then again, is this this is her is this her normal face? Because do you mind? Uh she's lied. 
She, I doubt it. Got that right. Maybe the last one was a lie. Is this the truth? Because she's... I mean, she's doing shifty eyes. She ain't looking at me. Do you get paid by the hour for doing nothing? Eh, probably, actually. Not by the hour, but I could just stand here all day. Huh. This... Mm, fuck. <laughs> Hold on. What's the log? I don't normally drive off cliffs. Probably true. Last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. If she was drugged, Matt could be right. You don't remember where the head came from? I don't know anything about a head. Why is everybody talking about a goddamn head? Isn't anyone interested in how I am? Ooh, good start to this one. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I can't really do vigilante justice, love. Ah, there's your normal face. But I can't just... More. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. I finally Listen, did it. Kathy, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. I mean... Damn it! Yeah. I feel like, uh... Where are you, what what car are you going to? Where are you going? Oh, he's probably going back to the car, isn't he? Where is he going? We can't go that way. You going back to the crime scene? There's nothing down there, dude. Nothing at all, Zol. Other than music that won't go away. Other than music that just won't go away. Find anything interesting? Not at all at all. But maybe soon. Maybe if I press A on everything. We'll just keep coming back to this piece of junk on the floor. Hmm. This. This. Touch this guy. Yup. Cool. Are you really trying to go that way? He came all the way down here to just to meet our uh, eternal nemesis. Knee-high obstacles. We've had this conversation. Don't run off the side. Oh, that is so annoying. Okay, I just see, like, knocked over stuff, broken car. There is absolutely nothing else that I could see that could... Other than investigating the front of the car... We knocked down a bit of a tree. Never the same, are they? I, you know, I hope not. Keep the, the game would be very boring, and so would the videos. Just gonna go a little Jessica Hamilton, who's 15. I'm so mad that I missed some things. Uh, it's fine. It's a first time playthrough. I'm not a machine, you know, with all the knowledge. The whole point is to, for it to be a blind playthrough. Oh, you can't even do that. I, uh, got friends with you. <laughs> so five, five. Yeah, it's supposed to be a blind playthrough, and I'm... You know, even if there's evidence on the floor in front of me, I tend to be blind. 
it's fine. Quicker, Phelps. I can only fill in the silence for so long before people get bored of listening to me carry on. KGP Alba Car 11K, 11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. I will leave you Roger. here. 11K en route. I'm leaving him. I'm leaving him. Has anyone ever played this game without Bukowski? Slay Bukowski! Wait, the hospital is next to the... What world is this? Makes sense. To be perfectly honest. Bukowski is here. Hello, Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. Thank you. You can't hold me here. No! I don't really better need since to be morning, handled Jessica. by a doctor. I need my Hello. lawyer. My hey, head's still where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Cool, I'm sorry. I, I had to dip out. I wanted to see the carnage. Uh, yeah, you look like a kid. Absolutely. How's your head since it went through glass? Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Yeah, she's 15. That's fucking weird. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? Why was she in the car? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Um. Okay, I, I didn't get any clues from her. Well, I'm going to doubt then, because I don't have any evidence. You're holding out on me, Jessica. Please, I want my doctor. I'm not sure I can answer any more questions right now. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Oh man, it's getting more difficult. Your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Well, well, that's a lie, because they went. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? I got a letter. A letter? But was the last one the underwear? Why am I avoiding... Why, subconsciously, I'm avoiding questions about the underwear. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Okay. So people are going to lie more. Okay. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. She's doing a new movie, but uh, b uh, backed out. She's backed out, though. I don't have anything in there. Uh, is it a doubt? She's not telling the truth. It's a d doubt or a lie. I don't have any evidence. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Okay. 
Evidence of criminal abuse. Well, drugging a child is one. He underruse is two. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Are you going to find him out? God damn it, tell the truth, Jessica. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. I'm gonna do this, but I feel like it's wrong. Oh, where did it take place? Where? So it's doubt. Ah, oh, where? Thank you for people telling me to check the logs and actually go back and look at these Sorry. things. My mistake. It's doubt. Or it could be true. Mm, okay, well, it's fine. She's an actress. She's supposed to be able to dupe me. I'm stupid. Someone tried to kill you, Jessica. Do you get it? Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a grown-up. I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. What? There were lights, a camera. What? It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? Thank you, Jessica. Been a big help. Here's my card. It was the if you truth. Think of anything, or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Ooh, game's tough, man. Really good game. It's tough. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Such stealth. There she goes. Come on. Uh, Bukowski ruined the entire stealth thing by just walking out. Some form of imbecile. Yeah, the icon will flash. You get too close. Don't worry, I'm never going to get close. I'm gonna slowly catch Valor's up. Definitely up to something. That's a terrible camera angle. Though. I don't want to focus on the. Gotta take my time. Everyone, just relax. Questioning goes awry sometimes, especially when they're professional liars. Remarkably speedy recovery. Like. Oh my god. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. She's fine. She saw nothing. This fucking car behind me, though. Move. Pretty low profile. I don't see into the future. I don't see when she's gonna get in a traffic jam, you anus. So was she actually drugged? Get in there and see what she's up to. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's about right. But wait a minute. What about you? Oh, I wanted to. God damn it all! I asked them to hold the mayo. Find a booth with a newspaper. Baby. No! I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it! You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls! I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. 
Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. All right, love. Investigate Bishop's apartment for a corpse. Oh, I like this investigation. This is cool. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. Watch it! <laughs> no! This is how we play this game. Accelerates her only, baby. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his brother. What did you make of the kid? You believe it? You're a goddamn kid! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! You didn't expect the double jump, did you? <laughs> I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard oh, sold her out. Man. Oh man. So if That's Ballard was doing grim. someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel. Okay. 1220 West 7th Street, Lake Park. We're too late. 11K, code 3. All other units, code 2. Too KTL late. Clear. Too Done late. It. Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. How can someone gun it when all they've done is accelerate? I am gunning it, sir. The gunning has been done. Okay, that was a little bit of a break. We want to gun it into a wall. We're here now. Okay. Run. Into the building. Just kick through the door. Oh. The cops. I tried to stop them. It's, it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Okay. Right, okay. In, Bukowski, in, in. Stay like time. We're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Do I need my gun now or what? Should I? Firearms! Look, lady. You look like a powder husband. Give it up! LAPD! Oh, 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 I don't remember how to fight. I don't remember how to. I don't remember how to fight! I don't remember how to fight! I don't remember how to fight! How, how, why am I not remembering how to fight? Oh, oh, oh! This is going to end in tears. Okay, 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 thank God. Okay, cool, fucking hell. It just, I had to hold L2, it was nuts. Ah! After standing there flailing, what do I do? You have the same haircut, bro. My chin's tougher, though. Wimp. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes, thank you. Just look at this mess! This doesn't pertain to the case. Yeah, well thankfully you said something this time so I don't look at it for like hours. Mm. Let's look at this mess. It's a lovely home. You have a smashed night train poster? It, a night train poster looks very nice. Oh, back to the forks and the spoons. And a cup. You never know. Maybe if... No. <laughs> Maybe if no. Maybe if... No. A hobo. Money? 
Probably nothing. Hmm. Money. Circumstantial. But it's money. Looks like the old movie set downtown. She said she was put in a robe and put in a stone. Hmm. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Stop. I'm trying to stop you. Thank you. No good to me. Well, you never know. You don't say things quick enough, so how am I supposed to know? Wait, is there a Los Diablos thing? Junk. <laughs> it's not junk. It's probably a, like a lot of money, actually. Cat statues and stuff. Uh, things were turned over and under in order to. There's also a way outside that I was just shown by the man known as Bukowski. What? He's got the New Testament. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I mean. Psh, my hat! Oh, thank God for that. I thought I was going to be hatless this entire time. I'm, I'm picking. I don't think this is going to help us. Gay Cowboys. Presented to Mark. Silver screen props. So the guy collected props because we found the, uh, the head. We weren't found the head, we were shown the head. Fair enough. We, we were given the head. By a coroner. Fantastic time. Ah, uh, the ring. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Well, you gotta check everything. You know anything about? Not sure, this means much. Why did they smash everything? I mean, they came Nothing here to significant. Came here to kill him, right? Ooh. Hey. You have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars. Pay order to uh, Lorna. Something, something, something. Cool. Nothing. Hasn't given me anything to go on. I mean, so far we're doing all right. And the music is still here. Shit. Had golden handles. Didn't matter. There is a place outside we can go. There's also this. Nothing. Does the music go away when I'm out here? Indeed you do. Okay. Mark Bishop. Gay Cowboys. The original Brokeback Mountain, everybody. Nothing, nothing. There is a way outside which could be hiding something important. I don't want to really get close to... Aha! Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Marlon Hopgood. Probably nothing. Incidental. Hmm. Nice jukebox. Not gonna talk to you yet. I have no interest. They even smashed the door here. Lovely view. Very nice, actually, yeah. Uh, nothing to do with the piano. All right. I th 
The music's gone. Oh my god, I did. Domestic disturbance. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Doesn't he? But your house is full of things. Mm. Hold on. She also said, that slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. He's saying he gives you nothing? Why don't I believe you? Hold on, there's a log. What, what was the place? Hop good shop. Silver screen. Okay. Why don't I believe her? I don't believe anyone. Maybe I'll be honest. Your husband was using June Ballard in his new movie? Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. I knew that was a doubt. So, I haven't seen her normal face yet. Unless you start with like, I guess I should do this before I start asking questions. So is that her normal face can or not? Can we get on with this, please? No. <laughs> Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Ah, that's the face. Shoot. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him, but I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. So, sometimes, if they're really still, really still, and their eyes are fixed on the main character, then they're telling the truth. Or at least... if the words, what they said, line up as well. I'm looking at my, the time. I'm, this one's going to be a long I I investigation. I don't know if we'll get through this all in one video. Maybe. Check for $20,000. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? You know exactly what the money is for. What? No, no one knows what the money is for, so I'm going to back out. I, I think it's a doubt. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Ah! Now she's not giving me the look. She's not doing the thing with the face. Um, fine. I'm gonna Your fail along on these, like I think. being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. I get it. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. 
He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. And I thought you were going to be nice after we saved you from uh, being pummeled. Operator, give me dispatch. I'm now going to use your phone. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Do we have to yell everything? How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Remember the head, everybody. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. Okay, black now. Hmm. First time I've done, I think I've cleared. Well, I may have cleared other ones. I don't really know. I must have. Because I got the five stars on the other one. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife. We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Well, some of them have, you know, give me the slip on the on the details. Sorry, there's a the Broderick. No. No. Best one when rubbing shoulders with movie stars. Didn't realize this sooner. Maybe this makes their facial expressions more obvious. Maybe they tell less bullshit stories. Maybe they tell more bu bullshit stories. Maybe it doesn't matter. Get in. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She yep. doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Yeah, but wouldn't she want to go with him seeing as she's his wife? No? Maybe I don't understand marriage then. <laughs> Well, people go together and got married because they love each other. I, I don't know. <laughs> As a man almost a decade without a relationship, what the fuck do I know? All I have to go on is movies at this point. It's a mess. Especially if we go off of what this video game calls marriage. Oh, balls. Oh. I'm good. No. I said no. I said no. Will you get... You're upsetting me! <laughs> she... No! Hey, look out for the pedestrian! Shit! That guy's gonna have a dead leg for sure. Right? <laughs> the deadest of legs. Open your eyes! Did I just go the wrong way? I think I did. I think I just went the wrong way, everybody. It's fine, there's a hole. It's not here, is it? Oh, whatever. <laughs> We're going the scenic route. Look! Concrete walls. Where the hell is this shop? Excuse me, burgundy vehicle? Move. Is this it? Where the hell am I going? Car's fine. Car's fine. Aha! Finally! <laughs> Jesus. She got her nipples out. On a sign. In public. Good for her. That's Entering the, the shop. <laughs> Met by a big bear. Terrifying. Suit of Thompson armor. Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Oh, do I have some questions for you, buddy? No, I can't look at it. But I should be able to. Okay, don't follow him. Look around. The music isn't on right now, but I don't know if I can look at things. Fuck. 
So, you coming? Yep. I'm a so, you coming? I'm a detective. I'm a detective. I'm detecting. Aggression in so, your you voice coming? and sarcasm from me. Yes, I'm coming. Suits of armor. All right, yeah, prop man. Prop man. There better not be a so, stone. There better not be a stone man here in robes. Otherwise, I am <clears throat> gonna whip out my big boy and give it to you. And by my big boy, I mean my 45. Nothing else. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Oh, there's a stone. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Ew. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Small prop heads, who'd have thought? Wait, are those, like... Cast markings? We said something about cast markings? Keep rotating. Remember the coroner saying something about... No, never mind. What about you? Do you sh show anything else? That means that poor little girl was assaulted in here. It's pretty grim. Why? Oh, hey, another one. So there should be a stick without a head on. Oh, God. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Okay, what did I get out of that? It's a poison. Call a physician at once. Dr. Stoneman, MD. Where I get out, I close my eyes to block out the disgusting. Nothing? Can I get any more, like, good people? Clues? <laughs> no. Gross. Okay. Cool. All this from traffic. I don't think this is useful. Not much help. No. Uh. Why is there a mallet? Oh yeah, well mm -hmm. I have to put stuff together. Nice. They didn't hit her with it. I don't think. I don't need to talk to him yet. I'm gonna go and find. Can't be that way, fellas. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hold on then, how do we get in? Is it outside? How do we get in the in the room? Doesn't tell me anything. Hand cream. I thought we were going with Don't think this is anything. Robes. Ew. Do we touch the toilet? Do we pull the chain? Does that open a thing? Mirror there as well. No? Okay. I don't know if I'm able to make my way around to that actual place. It's similar to what we had as the... Nope. I can't make it through there. We got the drugs. Alcohol. 
If I leave, does this go outside of the area? Okay, the music still works out here, and we've got the head production over here. That's just drawn. Oh, one of these has to have something on. They are pretty much everywhere, though. The why? Here we go. So this is where you sprang from. Okay. You got a painted one and a mold. Okay. I did it. That's what I was looking for. Hey! We haven't done one of these in a while. I probably missed some in the last one. Okay. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. <laughs> Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> now can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> uh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? So you should sell Sheldon, kid? I think I want him dead. <laughs> it's very quiet in there. You should probably not talk that loud. Oh, dear. Overdose death hit all-time high. Dope flood streets. So wasn't this from the psychiatrist? So the psychi I think psychiatrist is the doctor people were saying that Micah Bell, voice actor, plays. Yet again, he's doing a fantastic job. I didn't even realize it was him. Four out of 13, feel like I've missed a lot of those. Yep. Push. Push. Oh, that was good investigation uh, further. Yep. Definitely. In. Oh, no. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. I found where the set is and where he would be. And this sword is simply just something I wanted to hold. Makes me feel good. Now onto the gross. I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Gross. Is that it? All right, cool. I thought you were frozen. Yay! 
disgusting. I saw this one over here. Oh God, Mark Bishop, Gemma, Gemma, uh, Jessica Hamilton. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Still in the camera? Still in the, still in the camera? Is it still in the camera? No? Something I can ask, I guess. This is a room of gross. Nothing over here. The music's faded away. I found everything again. God, I feel good about myself. I can go back and ask some serious questions and get them all wrong. <laughs> all right, you. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Of course he didn't. Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. You can do this, right? Uh, I haven't had, like, a point. I should have really have saved my points in the beginning of the game so that I could use them when I was faced with people like like this. I mean, I'm going to doubt and get it wrong. Wait, if I press lie. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant and now you start throwing your weight around? I mean, we have like... Got a film reel, but then we also have the that. But he's not moving, and that's freaking me out. Could have been sending these all to the set. Sending that to his wife. Prop store photograph that's not recent. Mm. You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. Uh. Um. God, I don't know. This is bothering me. Why is there so much evidence? Ah. All right. I have a drugged up 15 year old girl and you have chloral hydrate <laughs> in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Not responsible, but you have a room in which you watch and record them? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. <coughs> now, if I go to lie again, I can back out the accusation. I've started coughing now because I've been recording, like I've recorded back to back. I'm still trying to get over a cold, so my apologies. I can go out of this. You have something on him, and now you're going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. And how do you figure that, brain boy? Hold on. You have something on him, and you're going to rat, rat, rat him out to McAfee's goons. And how do you figure that out, brain boy? Hmm. The blackmail? Okay. 
the twenty thousand dollar check. That's his lying face. I'll give it a go. Just check one more time. You have something on him, and you're go now going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. How do you figure that out? But is it the twenty, the check, or blackmail? Doing it. I never liked Bishop. He always made out like he was better than everybody else. He was no better than any of the other big shot creeps who came in here. <laughs> Shit. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. I don't think I've ever put them two together, right? I don't think I've ever put them two in the same place. So I'm gonna doubt? Ballard was out, then she's in, then Bishop visits this place and goes crazy. You're in it somehow. These clowns fuck young girls on the couch. The girls think they're going to be stars. They really put their backs into it. Oh. It's a price they're willing to pay. None of them will press charges. <laughs> That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Damn it. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. I do but feel I'm dumb. A lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. <laughs> well delivered. Nice. Nice. I don't think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Hey, I shot him in the head. Oh, oh, oh. They really don't want anybody getting a picture of I don't even know where people came from. Bastards. Utter bloody, but I didn't expect them to start opening fire on us because we insulted him. Yeah, I'd like to get past that. Uh. Detective. Past that. I don't think Open. Like okay. Run! Get behind the car! Ha-ha! 
I need cover! Gotcha. Okay. 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 Do we know what to call that in? We should call that in. Got a phone? We need to lose those fools, Phelps. We don't need to lose them. We just killed them. Dude! You know what I'm saying? We're just... <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. He's in Let's shock. Go. Oh, Christ. When they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss... Yeah, you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. That's exactly the correct term to say to this man. Uh, yes. Secret camera room. Gross. Bishop's apartment. Jungle drums. <laughs> Fuck you. Hell. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molesters. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Can I at least shoot him once in the throat? We can we can load. How about we go and get people who don't like child molesters that are quite violent? Like the guys we just killed. And let them molest him. That's, that seems dark as well. How about we just kill him? Fine, I'll do my job. I don't want to. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. I got him. We're going. 11K calling KGPL, requesting assistance at 8 and friends. He's so slow! Movie set. My partner is pursuing suspect on foot. Code 3. He KGPL. was so slow, he's sped up now. I'm trying to help you, Bishop. You, this yeah. is all a big mistake. You don't seem to understand what's going on. And if I shoot him, I'm pretty sure it's over. So, is there a grapple button? There's B, right? Phelps, you were in the army. This man's a producer. It's us or McAfee's boy. Your choice. If I, from the photograph I, I saw of him, he's saying. fat. And I know fat and unfit. I am both of those. Holy crap, it's an obstacle course. Oh shit! Okay. Bishop, that's enough. Don't get kicked. That girl made it. Get the hell out of here, you D goddamn maniac! Don't get kicked. <laughs> I've been kicked off before. He's gonna jump off, isn't he? Where is he? Okay. I've gotta get tired sooner or later, buddy. I don't want to shoot. I don't. I don't. I don't want to shoot at him. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. What the hell? Why is this all rigged to it's fall no off? He's blackmailing me. What the hell? <laughs> that was fun. Let's do that entire chase again. That's what's going to happen. Mark, Bishop, nope. Stop. LAPD. Okay, not as far back as I was expecting. Okay, well that felt like a Cat Mario moment. <laughs> Hell. Imagine being outrun. Get the hell out of here, you goddamn maniac! We're trying to help you, bitch. By a movie producer. This is all a big mistake. He ain't. This ain't the way. Oh, then again, we were an officer, so we did just sit on our asses and make decisions that make other people's lives very difficult or end them. I mean, what? It's a joke! Everyone relax! It's us or McAfee's boy. Your choice. Shit! I didn't do anything! What the hell? Okay. If you stay back a little bit, you get to see what falls and what doesn't. It seems this is how far we got to go. Wait. Move another inch and you're dead. Bishop, that's enough. 
Okay, I didn't want to shoot him. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need, we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh, man. That's... Oh, this is bad. This is amazing. This is an amazing mission. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. I know. I just feel like letting them, too. Last chance to back the hell down. Bang. Bang. Hey, why didn't I shoot the third time when I pushed the button? You're pretty brave for a Shut up. It's this way. Yeah, I know, buddy. It doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Okay, cool. Oh, oh my god! Sake, I don't want to die! <laughs> Ellen, There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Hey, what? Is this really the best McAfee's got? <laughs> Come on, it's this way. Live in the war times again, everybody. God, they're everywhere. In your elbow. Where are you? Where are you? I see you, bitch. Ow. Shit. Really hurts. You have to get me out of here. It will. It will hurt. It's being shot. It doesn't bloody tickle. Oh, God, he's right up there. Okay, cool. This is no, he's reloading. He's reloading. Oh, in the gut, in the face. Oh, three shots. <sighs> terrifying, 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 terrifying. Oh, Weapons on the ground. Armor. They got him, whoever that guy was. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Cool. Cool. I don't want to die here. Oh my god. Awesome ladder. So much fun. I mean, the burning sensation your hands must be feeling. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. This is all balanced. Holy mother of God, people above me? People are above me. Jesus. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. I won. I should have known that shit was trouble. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Okay, get, get it, McCaskey. This way! Yeah! <laughs> okay, cool. I, I did it. I'm, I'm amazing. Get into the car. I can cover Come you on, from here. Moving. You're almost there. Did you not learn from your friend? Stay down. Why are these people not learning? <laughs> they now went to the execution spot. What I call a result. That was an amazing Bishop, uh, case. Film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy. Instead of sticking it to little girls. Oh. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. <laughs> Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. I got a promotion.
Yeah, even when you mess up the uh, the questions, the, the those sort of those sort of sequences can't be beaten. Oh, I've got to have I got to work with you now? Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cab, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Oh, we both getting on a promotion. Because I kind of like Screaming Bukowski. That's his nickname. Screaming. this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? With passion. This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? Right? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get the table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Wow. Just through the door. He's a very nice man, isn't he? He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. <coughs> Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Wow. Blow it off, Cole. Jesus, really? Fartsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. What is he giving up? So what about that drink, boys? Heroin? Yeah, I could hear the, um... I could, I could hear the Micah Bell in his voice there. So how much... Uh, how did I do? I uh, have 50% right? Oh, that's terrible. Ah, uh, piss. Three stars! There we go! I got promoted to homicide. That was probably the best uh, case so far. Because they had a lot going on. A lot of evidence to keep track of. I'm sure that I would have to watch someone do a five star of that. Because there were people who knew how to lie to my face and did it very well. I could not read them. I couldn't maintain all of the information. Plus the way that it's worded sometimes in the dialogue, just makes me go, what am I trying to prove? That's when I get stumped. The case is thin without an account of Jessica's ordeal from Aunt June or Jessica herself. Yeah, because I kind of fucked those up, right? <laughs> right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it doesn't get any more difficult. Otherwise, we're in trouble. But thank you very much. I will see you next time. Bye.